What Agashi Gokchang, aka every K pop idol's favorite restaurant? They have Gunjang Jige and then Geran Mari, not Geran Mari, the steam egg, whatever it's called. Finished everything. the artist that Supreme ripped their logo from. We just finished. It was so good. Huh? It is. So LA. Hello.
Please continue to support Traveler Smoke. <laughs> from the road I just got a few things it was kind of expensive actually so I got this thing it's called marbled melanin and I'm gonna put my toothbrush here <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and then I got this one is from the marbled melanin it's blue and I'm gonna put my keys here um, this is my favorite washi tape um, I only got it, I think, once online, and it was 50% off, so that's a good deal. And then, the, someone thought this was for chips. <laughs> the person recorded it. literally looks a like chip it. chip bag. But it's from Penco. It's, all of this is Penco, aka High Tide. And it's their, like, chip. Clampy. Mm -hmm. Penco Clampy. And then, yeah. Storage Caddy. Oh it's so cute! That's for uh, popsicles. No, <laughs> it's not. I mean, you can put a stick here. And then this one. I don't know what it is. Made in Japan. High Tide. Kopi coffee themed one. Thanks for coming. Oh. And then obviously sticker. Duh. For free. That's my haul. Thank you for coming. Bye. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Job. I hope you're doing well. I hope you enjoyed the vlog portion of this casual downtown LA vlog. This footage is actually from a very long time ago. It's all the way from September 2023, but I only got a chance to edit it now and it's already March. I think some of you may know, but I've been on a little bit of a hectic schedule as of late. I was in Japan in January and February and then in late February I had the California Pen Show and everything has been kind of go 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 and right now I'm actually filming this portion of the video, this whole journaling portion of this video uh, in Vancouver because I'm back home for a little bit for my mom's birthday but uh, that was just a little tangent to say hi I've missed you and let's you know journal together so um, it's nice to be back in my old space temporarily this white desk is kind of iconic to my old videos so I hope you're enjoying seeing a little blast from the past but as you can see I got some photos printed out actually at CVS um, and it's actually quite an affordable like photo printing service because I don't have a printer in Long Beach yet so I've just been going to a local CVS to get my photos printed and I actually have been meeting to journal about this occasion for so long we're already in March and this is from September so it's almost like half a year already but um, that's all right. Uh, but as you can see, 
for today's spread, we're kind of kicking it old school. We're using a dated calendar. This is actually from my 2022, I think, not even 2023. This is from two years ago. This is the Typodarium calendar. And I actually have all the sheets that I haven't used up um, in a little tin. And I actually still use it to this day for when I create journal spreads because I can just cut the uh, day of the week um, if it doesn't correspond. But weirdly this one worked out because this was a saturday and um yeah i guess it just worked out um so i was using this um dated calendar and if you don't know anything about the typodarium calendar it's actually oh is it swedish i don't actually know i think it's created by the no it's not created by moma it's i know it's being sold at like the moma design store uh, but it's actually a compilation of different um type faces and fonts um, that are iconic and handmade by various artists all around the world and it features a new type or font each day so I've been enjoying using it even though we're already in 2024 uh, I love to repurpose you know old scrap papers so this feels like a nice way to recycle it and then for the photos I'm using glue it's so odd um, we're using glue today and it's been fine this is actually the wrinkle free version of the glue the gloo brand by kakuyo you guys know i love that stuff i love the tape runner too um and i realized i didn't have any in long beach so i think i'm going to take this back with me to the states uh, when i head back uh, in a few days but i'm using this uh sticker sheet this is actually from some happy mail uh, and this is by our studio my favorite uh one of my favorite stationary brands out of taiwan run by bear koopa and um hank hank yeah uh, i love those two they they're amazing and i love that color palette um i'm kind of on a primary color palette kick and i like how that sticker sheet kind of has like a softer palette to it oh oops uh so editing job actually put this in here but we did a shop update so basically we had the pre-orders for the PET and Washi orders from the home collection. And since I ordered extras, I thought I would put them up on the shop right now. So there are still PET tapes and Washi tapes from the home collection ready to be shipped um, ASAP. So if you want something from this collection, be sure to check out Job's Journal shop in the links below. And yeah, let's continue back with the regular scheduled voiceover. Thank you, marketing team Job. This is voiceover Job back again. And earlier we were just talking about how I had a horde of these uh, stickers from the Traveler's Company Diary sticker set that comes out each year. And I don't know, I feel like I don't go through these stickers nearly as fast as I should. I feel like I kind of baby and I like maybe even save these stickers just because they're, you know, TRC and they feel, I don't know, they just feel special, but I'm trying to just use them up. And so I've been using them like this a lot recently, just as like decorative elements and not just using it for like important dates in my planner. So this feels nice and it feels good to reuse these or not reuse to put a special purpose for these stickers in a decorative way uh, right now we are journaling usually I actually journal at the end of my like collaging and doodling uh for the spread but it felt right to just actually write and journal in the negative spaces in this uh page already before moving on to the right hand side of the spread because i wanted to do some painting and sometimes when i do some doodling or painting i usually kind of tap out and end my journaling session there and i end up not writing in my journal which is you know it happens sometimes you're just tired and a little bit lazy but i thought i would combat that and actually just get a kick kick start a head start and actually start writing in my journal uh so now we're on to the right hand side of the spread where we have a lot more collage elements and i did a little quick dtla um like block lettering and i realized i used the red pen by accident instead of the black pen but i just rolled with it since we are kind of going with like a subtle primary color scheme for this spread uh, and I wanted to draw the halo halo that we had at the Grand Central Market in downtown LA. I don't think I actually showed it in the vlog or maybe it was really brief, but we um, sat down and had like a quick um, like refresher because it was really hot that day actually. And we ordered halo halo, which is a Filipino shaved ice dessert, which usually consists of shaved ice, 
Um, some people put condensed milk. Some people do evaporated milk. Um, there's usually some sweet like beans, kind of like azuki beans, but they're red beans. Um, and then there's ice cream. I always like it when there's ube ice cream. There's usually leche flan, which is just like a caramel flan and a bunch of like chewy um like nata de coco and um what is it called like gulaman like jello like chewy assorted jello um and it's really tasty you and halo halo means mix mix in tagalog so it just means that you have to mix the whole shaved ice together and then we went in with some watercolors i actually refilled my uh, my palette this is the art toolkit x travelers company uh palette in the this is not the folio this is the pocket size so this is the smaller size uh there is a folio size that i have but i actually brought these palettes with me back to vancouver deliberately because i wanted to refill them and it's so nice to get them filled again and i just went in with a pretty like simple you know uh, yeah, I guess primary color palette because I used um, blue and red and yellow a lot. But I did want to keep the colors of the Halo Halo pretty faithful. But I made it a lot more vibrant than what it actually looked like in real life. Like, I don't think the cup was yellow, but I was like, I want to use yellow for the primary color scheme. Um, and it still conveyed the same vibe of the Halo Halo. Um, and I think part of me was thrown off because I rarely sketch in red um, or like um, use the red ink in my pen for like um, my doodles so it looks a little bit different to me but still quite fun and I like how bright it looks and we are doing a little bit more collaging I really like this Yohaku uh, sample that I received in some happy mail it's from the brand Yohaku and they make such good um washi tape that's good for like layering it's usually like simple um patterns usually kind of like grid very collage this one's in like a nice blue green and then i layered some more stickers from the same uh I, yeah the same hour studio sticker sheet and i will have to look into more um stickers from our studio because I do have their PET tape but I really like the stickers and I don't know I think I um, am really into sticker sheets these days um, I went on a big like sticker sheet um, not D stash but I deliberately tried to use up my sticker sheets I, I don't know again kind of like the TRC stickers I'm always a little bit precious with stickers like I'm scared to like run out and I'm scared to use them but um, I've been really into trying to use up my sticker stash and I actually went through quite a bit of um, my stickers already, um, especially the ones that I brought to um, Long Beach with me. Uh, but I think I like that because it's nice to get rid of, you know, stuff in your stash and to use the stuff that you have, but also using a sticker sheet in a journaling session and like using, you know, not just one, but maybe multiple stickers is actually a nice way to make your journal spread look very cohesive just because you're using different stickers from the same sheet which allow the journal spread to look a little bit more cohesive in terms of the elements that are on the spread so i like how this um, sticker sheet has florals and so i kind of continued that theme with the washi tape that i use i don't actually know which washi tape this is from but it also looks like our studio it looks like um bear koopa's um like floral illustrations or doodles so um it works well with the spread and the reds and oranges in it kind of match the overall vibe and feel of the spread so i actually really like how that turned out um i think in terms of this spread we're pretty much done we're just doing a little bit more writing um and i use blue and red ink um like i did on the uh, left hand side of the spread uh so it kind of conveys that same color palette and then i wanted to draw a little homage to the keith herring in the pictures that i had that's actually my sister in the pictures i just really enjoy taking like these gallery photos of you know people's backs so i asked her to pose there but i really liked keith herring's illustrations from that day and so i did a little like similar doodle but obviously not the same it's still like i guess my own style but yeah, this is the completed spread. Um, I just painted it real quick and that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching. 
I can't wait to share more videos and more vlogs in the future. But thank you for sticking around, even though I haven't been uploading as frequently as I would like. But I hope to be posting more soon. And thank you again for always continuing to support me on Instagram and on Patreon. And again, um, if you want to watch more exclusive content, I post on Patreon pretty regularly. So yeah, you can check me out there. But I will be back next week with another video because I already edited it. So I'm excited. And thank you again for bearing with me and for sticking around. I love you so much. Bye-bye.